Hi everyone. It is August 16, 2018. The box that is being created for us is getting smaller and smaller and tighter and tighter. St. Louis University is installing Amazon Alexa enabled Echo Dots campus wide in dorm rooms in residence halls. And who is managing this central system? Amazon themselves. Anybody who believes that Amazon is a private company, Google, YouTube, Facebook are private companies. They cannot see that that private thing is just a facade. All you have to do is a little bit of research to find out that all of these companies are government companies and they want centralized control. That's why Amazon is buying up an awful lot of companies that are related to surveillance. Surveillance. So students at St. Louis University, if you are uncomfortable, you can unplug it and store it. So I suggest that you unplug it, put it in a box, and take it somewhere to store outside of your dorm room Though it is unfortunate that the other dorm rooms will have this Alexa. Your residence halls will have Alexa. So you're stuck with living while you're going to school with your privacy intruded upon. And it is being intruded upon purposely because they want to know everything we do and say all the time. Hotels are installing Amazon listening devices in every room. Here, listen just a few minutes. Calling front desk. Alexa is coming to your hotel room. Amazon just announced a new service called Alexa for Hospitality, which offers a new version of its Alexa voice assistant that works specifically for hotels. You can turn on and off your lights, order a toothbrush, check what time the pool is open, and get local recommendations, all by talking to the Echo speaker in your room. And guess what? Amazon can get recordings of everything that you say in your hotel room. This is disturbing. North Carolina, Henderson County Schools have developed an app report it. Don't ignore it for all of the students. Yes. God, can't people see through what's happening here and how dangerous these apps are, how dangerous is this technology. So students and they have a fight, suddenly they take out their smartphone and report a student and they don't even care if it's the truth or not. And all of this can send an innocent student's life into a nightmare. Report it. Don't ignore it. Report suspicious activity. Report your peers to administrators using your smartphone. It's really easy. And you can report a number of categories, including threats, bullying, drugs, fighting, a personal crisis, vandalism, weapons, anything. And your report, if needed, will go immediately to alert law enforcement. And you can do it anonymously? Bull crap. It's not just North Carolina. Rick Scott, Rick Scott, governor of Florida, has a similar app coming to you based on the see something, say something. Everybody spies on everybody else. Ain't that great. And it makes the Stasi world so much easier and so much faster with high speed internet. And it is a horrifying promotional video, which I'll let you listen to. Talk about, talk about exploiting children. Adults exploiting children and exploiting them in a way that is 
bringing to these children a surveillance state nothing like it 1984 because this is 1984 on steroids squared listen to these kids school safety is on everyone's minds it should be because it's everyone's responsibility. That's why Henderson County Public Schools has given a powerful tool to me, to me, to me, and to you. We're on the inside. We see things adults may not. And now we can use the report it, don't ignore it tool to report what we see in our very own school directly to administrators. Henderson County Public Schools has added this online reporting tool to the district and school websites and it has this eyeball icon. It lets you report any type of threat you may see or hear whether that's a post on social media, writing on a wall, or bullying in a hallway. It even has an option to upload pictures or screenshots of threats. You can give your name, or you can choose to be totally anonymous. Either way, the message goes straight to the school administrators. So if you feel unsafe, hear or see anything that concerns you, report it. We're all in this together. So we're all counting on you. Report it. Report it. Report it. Report it. Don't ignore it. Oh, how great is that? Isn't it? Isn't it great? Report it. Don't ignore it. What an easy tool for kids. If they're pissed off at another student to report something that is not true, and so many innocent people are already getting screwed not just kids but adults they'll lie about other adults just to send their life into a nightmare they don't care about the consequences they're angry at them so they report them to the authorities and this happens quite a lot well I did a video a couple of days ago on 5G 5G scanning all of the residents in LA to I hope you can't hear what's in the background noise the pruning of bushes that has been going on all day um, 5G it, it, LA announced that 5G will be scanning everybody walking into their subways they can see what is on everybody's person, in their pocketbooks, in their briefcases, through these 5G antennas that can surveil them a little over a half a mile away. So think about 5G, guys. Well, they can direct the beams to interrogate their targets. But they can direct the beams inside your home, inside your car, and inside your briefcase and inside your pocketbook and everything that you have in your pockets and on your person. And we can't get through to people about what is taking place. They just see all of this technology is fabulous and wonderful and I'm going to get fast down speed, uh, download speeds and yeah, and if I get bullied, I, I, it's easy. I just whip out my smartphone and press on that app and I'll report you. And everybody's just going to be living in fear. We want people to get out of fear. But no, you know, this world that is manifesting is really creating a world that is, you can't trust anybody. Everybody's spying on one another. It is absolutely 1984 on steroids squared and look at this amazing okay ring ring is a doorbell with a camera and well it's now the digital neighborhood watch network and who bought ring Amazon for one billion dollars wow they really wanted ring huh well what is Amazon doing with ring it is hooking up with law enforcement across the country. It will be your neighborhood watch. Doorbells with cameras. 
Yes, the box is getting tighter. And the police, oh my God. You criticized me, I'm quitting. I thought you guys were supposed to be tough. That's right. Seattle officers complained about being criticized by city council members. They're quitting because they don't like being criticized. Officers are growing tired of the constant barrage of negativity from council members. Look, guys. Perhaps you should think about the criticism. You're criticized for a reason. No doubt the criticism is well deserved. Think about how you treat people and then change your behaviors if you don't want to be criticized. The Ladies Professional Golf, Ladies Professional Golf Association, <laughs> now they are spying on their fans with facial recognition. They're afraid that some fan is going to blow up a golf tournament. So they're using facial recognition. Golfing? Yes, there are a lot of potential terrorists. And they they're um, they go incognito as fans of golf. Golf. Yes. The golf terrorists. University police heroes using drones to spy on concert goers. The police, university police, they're the biggest purchaser, purchasers of drones. Bard College did a study of the drones that law enforcement are acquiring and at least 910 public safety agencies across the country are using drones to spy on the public. And for the universities, well, it's, they have listed here only eight, but I'm sure there's a lot more. Colorado State University, University of Alabama, Cal State Monterey, Lehigh University, Ohio University, Lorain County Community College, San Diego State. And you can bet that there's an awful lot more on these on this list. But look at this. Department of Homeland Security <laughs> give anti-government stories sentiment sentiment ratings. Negative, neutral, positive. If you are praising government, you get a positive rating. Sound like China's rating? Their social rating? The, these social credit rating scores that China has? And, well, if they post anything that can be deemed anti-government, woof! They get punished. They can't travel. They get destroyed. This is coming to the United States. So they do have they do have this rating, Department of Homeland Security. A spokesman told Meteorite, Mediaite, in a discussion that awareness of whether a report is positive or negative would help decision makers to monitor how the public feels about certain policies and if needed, clear up misconceptions. You know, the problem that I have is everybody that I have talked to about our government deciding that propaganda would no longer be illegal and can be used against the American public. Nobody even cares about that. Propaganda lies. Yes, our government can now legally lie to American citizens and nobody seemed to care. So that's why our box is getting tighter and tighter and tighter. But this, these apps given to these students, you know, that's really scary. That's really scary um, because they're setting up in these children 
it's okay to just report anything. It's okay to spy on your peers. And it's okay to not work out anything with your peers. Just hand them over to the authorities. All links are below.